After almost four weeks of interviewing 10 candidates, the Bucks have hired Seahawks quarterbacks coach Dave Canales as their new offensive coordinator. Canales began his coaching career at Carson High School and then El Camino Junior College. It was at that junior college where he met coaches from USC, including head coach Pete Carroll, who then brought him to the Trojans in 2009 to be their strength and conditioning coach. He wouldn't spend too much time at the collegiate level, though, as Carroll took a head coaching job with the Seahawks in 2010 and brought Canales with him. Canales has spent the entirety of his NFL coaching career in Seattle with Coach Carroll and rose up the ranks along the way. Canales was the wide receivers coach from 2010 to 2017. Then he moved to quarterbacks coach from 2018 to 2019, followed by being named passing game coordinator for the 2020-2021 season. It was those years as quarterback's coach and passing game coordinator where Canales worked with Russell Wilson during the infamous Let Russ Cook era. Canales worked directly with him for his last three Pro Bowl seasons. In 2022, Canales moved back to quarterback's coach where he's had his biggest claim to fame yet, reviving the career of Geno Smith. Smith had failed as the starting quarterback of the New York Jets early in his career from 2013 to 2016. After bouncing around the league for a couple of different teams, Smith got another chance to be a starter with the Seahawks as Canales helped him reach his first ever Pro Bowl while the Seahawks made the postseason. Smith threw for 4,282 yards this season with 30 touchdowns to 11 interceptions and a completion percentage of 69.8. The fact that Canales has worked with two different quarterbacks and found success with both of them is appealing to the Bucks, given their current quarterback situation. As it stands, Kyle Trask is the only quarterback under contract with Tampa Bay going into the 2023 season. Trask has very little experience, playing only one half of football in Week 18 of last season. He's normally been a game day inactive and has been the third string over the last two years. With that said, the idea of Canales developing Trask is an intriguing one. The Bucks have three options at quarterback right now. They can roll with Trask, find a veteran that can help them win now, or draft a quarterback in the 2023 NFL Draft. The third option seems unlikely at the moment, so if the Bucks go with a veteran such as Jacoby Brissett or Baker Mayfield, then Canales is in a similar spot that he was in with Smith last year. Canales is known for his upbeat personality and positivity during practices, along with a deep dedication to his faith. While Canales hasn't called offensive plays as a coach just yet, He's learned from a number of different coaches with offensive backgrounds. Though he's always been with Coach Carroll, Canales spent eight years under Daryl Bevel, who worked for Brad Childress. You may know that Childress was the offensive coordinator for Andy Reid for many years with the Eagles. More recently, Canales worked with Shane Waldron, who comes from the Sean McVay coaching tree. What this all means is you'll see a different Bucks offense with more throws on first down, an improved commitment and creativity to the run game, and most of all, a higher amount of play action, which will be music to the ears of Bucks fans everywhere.